Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Supreme Dragon of Hidden Dragon. Coming at you with another deck profile today of Dark Worlds. Don't forget like, subscribe buttons down below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Uh, we will, uh, don't forget to check us out Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'll be sure to have uploads every all those days. And don't forget to leave a comment down below what you think of Dark Worlds. Or should I say my Dark Worlds? So, starting things off, we have three copies of Grapha. Big boss monster of the deck. Uh, when it's sent by a card effect, you get to destroy one uh, card on your opponent's side of the field. And if it's sent by your opponent's card effect, uh, then you get to look at one random card in their hand. And if it's a monster, you can special summon it to your side of the field. So with Gates on board, this is a 28, a 3,000 attacker. Really cool. Next up is two copies of Lucent, uh, Nether Lord of the Dark World. Uh, when this card is sent, you get to special summon it. And if it's sent by your opponent's card effect, you can special summon one fiend type monster from your deck to either side of the field. So that's really cool. Especially if you're playing in a mirror match and they happen to hit loose and you discard loose it. Uh, plus it's a level 6, so that allows you to go into uh, M7 to help recycle some cards for later on. Uh, next you have three copies of Snow. This is your searcher of the deck. Get any Dark World card you need from your deck when this is discarded. And if it was sent by your opponent's card effect, you can special target one monster in their graveyard and special summon it on your side of the field and face up defense position. Then you have three copies of Beige. When this card is sent, you get to, or two copies of Beige, excuse me. Uh, when this card is discarded, you get to special summon it. So it's just another way to special summon and be able to get Grapha and then discard it again and so forth. It repeats itself. Uh, next up, we have three copies of Brow. When this card is discarded, uh, you can draw an additional card. And if it was sent by your opponent's card effect, then you get to draw an additional card. Uh, one copy of Dark Arm, because this is an all dark deck, so it's pretty easy to manipulate the graveyard to get Dark Armed out. Uh, two copies of Trance. Uh, Trance allows you to discard one card per turn, uh, one thing, excuse me, per turn, and gains 500 attack. And when this card is sent to the graveyard, you can return one of your banished dark monsters to your hand. So that's really cool. That does it for the monsters. Uh, next up for spells, which is pretty much all draw power. Uh, Allure of Darkness, draw two, banish one dark. Uh, three copies of Drag Down, lets you look at your opponent's hand, discard one. They get to look at your hand, discard one, then you each draw a card. Uh, one copy of Soul Charge, because it's Soul Charge, and there's a lot of good options to go into for the extra deck. Uh, still running one copy of Rank Up Magic, the seventh one. This is the only deck I'm running it in, and it's pretty easy to run it uh, in here. Uh, probably going to make a switch and probably throw in a couple of Plague Spreaders to make sure this stays live at all times. Uh, three copies of Dark World Dealings. Draw one card. Each, each player discard, draws one card and then discards one. Uh, three copies of Into the Void. Uh, the reason I run this is as long as you have three or more cards in your hand, draw that additional card, and at the end turn, discard all cards in your hand, so that way all your Dark Worlds get their effect at the end turn. New card I've recently added and has been working out really great because this deck obviously needs more draw power <laughs> is Magical Spring. Uh, I just came out in Duelist of Alliance. It's a quick play, so for every face, uh, for every yeah, I'm going to get this right. For every face-up spell and trap card your opponent controls, you draw one card. Then, uh, you discard a number of cards equal to the number of face-up spell and traps you currently control. And then until the end of your opponent's next turn, uh, their spell and traps cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So that's a lone downside, but you get to draw. So like I said, obviously this deck needs more draw power. 
Then we have three copies of Gates of Dark World. Banish one thing, discard one thing, draw a card. And two copies of MST to help get rid of uh, problematic back row cards and uh, other cards. Okay, that does it for spells. Now for traps, it's very small. Uh, two copies of Deck Devastation Virus to help get rid of uh, the, your opponent's weaker monsters, forcing them to only use their stronger, their uh, big ones. Can definitely hinder a lot of decks. Uh, one copy of Erad to take out spells or traps, and two copies of Dark World of Dark Smog to help clear out your opponent's monsters in their graveyard. That way they can't, that makes their soul charge plays a lot less effective uh, or debris or any other particular cards plus your Dark Worlds get their effects. So it's really good to run. That's it for the main deck. Now for the extra deck. Uh, because of running Rank Up Magic, uh, the seventh one, I'm able to run C107 and 107. Uh, I'm able to run 107 anyway, but I can run C107 because of that. I also run number 62, Prime Photon Dragon, Sun Dragon Overlord, and Felgram as my other, as my four eight choices. Uh, then for my one level six, or rank six, excuse me, uh, M7. And again, like I said, because of running. Uh, rank up match the seventh one. I can also pull off C104 and C101, which means I'm also running 104 and 101, as well as Key Beetle, Exiton, Dweller, uh, the new edition, number 58, Burner Visor for that little burn damage effect, and your Dark World still get their effects, and Cowboy for the added burn damage. Okay, that does it for the extra deck. Now for my side deck choices, uh, which does include a couple extra deck cards to switch in and out. Uh, that would be two copies of Cyber Dragon, or Cyber End Dragon, and one Gustav Max. Uh, two copies of Xyz Avenger, and the reason I run that is so I can suicide into something they have, but it's a fiend. So it won't really cost me that much, and then I can send uh, any number of extra deck cards from their extra deck to the graveyard and give them a whole lot less options to work with. Uh, one copy of Gores, two copies of Malefic Cyber and Dragon, uh, again, that's why the Cyber and Dragons are in there. And the reason I'm running the Malefics is because of three copies of Skill Drain. This uh, allows me to uh, go into like have multiple malefics on board and eventually go in and go into Gustav Max for additional burn damage and that's another reason for the MSTs so I can do what I need to do get Gustav out then burn uh, one compulse one warning one bottomless and one rank up magic admiration of the thousands and the reason for this guy is because depending on what my opponent's extra deck is running and what mine is running I can choose 101, 104, or 107 and any number of rank 8's or 4's in either player's graveyards special summon all of them and then chaos exceeds on top of it which gives me a lot of materials for <laughs> a lot for a big time effect so yeah, this has been my Dark World deck profile. Don't forget to like and subscribe buttons down below. Check us out Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Be sure to check out my Facebook page and eBay page. And this is Supreme Dragon of Hidden Dragon, signing out.